Yeah, this is Justin Kosho Co. And um, I'm gonna do a second flight video on that uh, 330S from Blade. Um, the first video, I actually used my fat fingers to program my radio and somehow I had my flight modes on another switch and I thought I was switching flight modes, which I was as far as head speed, but um, it's actually got stability mode and normal mode um, with the switch totally forward on your uh, flight control switch here. And um, as I go up in the flight modes, then it goes into stunt mode. So I wanna just demonstrate that real fast before it starts raining again. And um, I'll show you, cause a gentleman was right on the comments and uh, here we go. So anyway, here we go, normal mode. I'm gonna take off zero throttle at the bottom. <laughs> and uh, as I hover here, it's starting to rain again. But I will show you the the gyro is not shaking and this is basically in safe mode so your switch here is the helicopter wants to remain level so you can see it's pretty good and um, it's got a lot of stability in that mode if I, it's, it's gonna drift, but you basically, it wants to self level. So this can get you out of some situations if you just click back to that mode. There's a panic recovery, which I'm not gonna do in my yard. I'm gonna go into mode two. Here's stunt two. I mean, stunt one, I'm sorry, stunt one. The head speed here is at 70%. I think the manual recommends 75. I just put mine at 70. You can do what you want there. <coughs> Tail holds good. Um, moves pretty good. There's stunt stunt two. It's gonna be here. So here's my higher head speed. It's at, uh, it was at 80%, I moved mine to 75, so. There's 75%. Back to normal, or stunt one. In stunt one, it, it continues to drift, so. Flies like a real helicopter, or well, <laughs> like an old school helicopter. Basically, you tilt it, it stays that way. You tilt it, it stays that way. Stays that way. Um, but once I'm centered here, once I'm centered, it's pretty much hands off. It's starting to rain. Um, so we'll go back to that normal. There's normal mode. The uh, gear channel is controlling the flight mode, which puts it into stability. And you can go into your radio. So, it's not raining too bad yet. This is stability mode. I'm good if you're learning. Helicopter's like it's hanging on a string right now. And if the stability is really high up and it self-centers. I push forward, it goes back to center. I believe you can adjust this in the settings, so. We'll go over the settings over here. I'm gonna go ahead and land and get it out of the rain. Hold mode. So you can see there's RPM, voltage, um, motor output, um, the t temperature of the speed control is 120 degrees. Um, so let's go over a few things. Okay, so 
My X12 in the rain seems to be waterproof. Okay. So I go here to my model adjustments. I can go to forward programming. And it says the throttle is high. It's not connect. Um, someone asked about the safe and uh, to show that. So here's your safe. And here's the stability. So you can see the stability is off there. And my stick is down. Normal. But when I go into normal mode, it says the stability is on. And um, I don't think that I should hit the stick right now as far as showing stunt one, but it does tell you. So as I hit hold, it's off again because it's not on in hold mode. Um, if we go back here and back again, you will see there is a swash plate menu. And with the swash plate menu, you can go to roll, essentially. Um, looks like my rolls per second is 290. I turned it up from stock. Uh, proportional gain, integral gain. Proportional would be the center gain where the helicopter is hovering. And the integral gain is when you move the helicopter and how hard it stays when you're moving. So um, they're both set at 50, that's stock. And that's the way it comes. Um, but I did turn it up to 290. I think it was 275 originally. And the agility is here. Agility would be how robotic it feels. Um, it's, it comes at 95, which is just fine. You can adjust it. Here's 95. I'll just hit OK. So basically, that's how you change things if you'd like to. If I go back here, um, there's tail rotor. Some people are going, my tail wags, and I'm having an issue. Well, first of all, make sure that your tail is mechanically centered. Um, you need to have about two degrees right pitch <clears throat> in that tail. Um, we do that by having that tail kind of centered like this. If you're looking at it on the table, that bottom blade's going to be in. This outer blade's going to be a little out. Um, I'll show you here online, actually, since it's sitting here. Um, you're going to, when you turn the helicopter on, the blades will be turning like this and um, this bottom blade is in and this other blade is out on the top here that would be right pitch if it's over here you're the wrong way if it's over here you're the right way you can adjust it by these two screws these two screws right here on the helicopter um, they, they slide your your tail rotor back and forth so this rod here exactly it doesn't really need to be shortened by the rod back here you can just slide the servo there so um, anyway that's how you do that um, what else um, the flight controller is a 6250HX that's the new one on the 330 um, if we go back here what else is cool you can go into setup. Um, there's swash plate setup. You can set a gain channel. It's inhibited right now. I'd assume that I could put it on a on a channel and I could adjust the. Um, I'm not even sure if it's the gain on the fly wireless unit itself or if it's the gain of the tail. But um, you can see here the flight mode channel is gear, and that's what it's set on. And um, if you go to swash plate and you're on the setup, there's output setup, there's uh, the, the end ring, basically the phasing. Um, you can set up all kinds of things in this gyro. People have been asking for that for a long time, so that's what we do. And you can assign, I think I just showed you the assignment, but you can go to the system setup, whatever this may be. And there's calibrate the sensor and there's factory reset we don't want to mess with that right now so i can click back out of this and we'll go here and you can see that there is um, telemetry on this screen particularly i'm going to spool it up just so you can see it real fast 
even though it's raining. Um, if we if we go here, you can see the telemetry and the RPM is working here. I'm sitting here on the ground, and it is turning about. I'd say that's totally about 2,000 RPM on the ground. There's 2,200 RPM, 11.4 volts, motor, amperage, current. Um, there's another screen here too. Smart ESC. I'm not exactly sure about this. I can set up a graph, I guess, in that, which I can, but there's the motor RPM and the temperature. So, there's a lot you can do with this, you guys. Time to get it out of the rain, though. Not exactly waterproof. This isn't a waterproofing video, but I am impressed with this helicopter. Um, yes, you do have to, um, you know, mess with things. My, my swash plate seemed to be level out of the box and all, but please make sure your swash plate is level. It should be level side to side, uh, back and forth. When you check your tail rotor, your linkage here should be straight along the helicopter and um, these two screws should be tight once you're um, you're set um, you, you can change the arm too this is something that I do on everything I own uh, this arms a little longer comes off the same kind of spectrum servo um, but what that does is give you a mechanical advantage basically on the tail rotor also so anyway um, I like it and it's got telemetry and you know about that okay hope everybody's having a good day it's raining here thank you